All right, so I got your homework, and if from here it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, you triangulated it, and uh, yes, it needs to be like that for uh, the game engine to take it, but we don't do it until you're done with your texturing. Okay, uh, in one of the videos I explained that. Uh, you basically, uh, because if you do that right now, you're going to have twice as many faces to unwrap for the texturing this week. So keep it as a quad for now. So you can go back, you can select it and go back to mesh and quad it if you don't have it. It will get you back to quads. Uh, besides, like right here, you have some non manifold. You didn't know how to deal with that. Uh, not a big deal. Let me get rid of your virtual studio. So you didn't know how to deal with that. In that case, you reroute that. Okay, you would select that one. You would select that one. You edit mesh and delete this. And then you go into the mesh tool, multi-cut tool, and select one right here to recreate that one right there. All right. And that one doesn't even need to be there. It just didn't take it out when I did the quadrant. quadrant. Put it back in quad, basically. All right. And let me get rid of those also. All right, so, and don't worry about those try faces right there also. Um, now, it looks good. You got the proper shape. Uh, everything is set up properly. Let me see that phone again. Um, let me move that away so I can see it better. You see, that there is one thing you can do to make it look a little bit better is that select the outside edges it's a little it's flat right here so select uh, let's say that edge and you don't need that piece right here and that one and you don't need that piece either all right and then you can scale it down a little bit actually you can bring it down actually we won't even scale it we'll just bring it down a little bit like that so it gets a little rounder, just like the real phone is. All right. Uh, beside that, looks pretty good. Uh, let me look one more time though at the shape now, because I'm thinking it's okay, but the top shape is not there. All right. So you need to uh, rework that. Uh, let me go right here just a second. See, I'm going to replace it, uh, but yeah, actually you're not very far from it. Uh, but um, you need to readjust a little bit better than that. All right, those vertices will need to be readjusted more, so in a rounded shape. Or oh, it's not, you know, the same exact shape that you got. I'd rather cut a little bit. Um, like these can be put back a little bit also. All right. And that's a little pointy, so maybe round it up a little bit. Same thing here, maybe round it up a little bit. All right. Now, one trickery you can do, you see it start to look a little bit more like it. Uh, one trickery you can do, and you're going to have to clean up up front a little bit, is that you can select your mesh and go to normals and soften the edges. And then now you'll see when I go back to the... Let me select it. I go back to material attribute right here and make it non-transparent see how much smoother it is all right it has smoothed the edges angle basically through the the normal vector um, so that will look better your job is pretty well done not bad that's an a uh, keep it up uh, and keep me informed if you have more problems okay thank you